If you're building a CRM with Bubble, then this video is for you because I just want to talk about something that I posted on the Bubble forum back in January 2021, and that is about the Gmail API restrictive content and Google security audit and the huge costs involved. In a nutshell, if you are wanting to access a Gmail user's inbox, then you have to jump through a load of hoops to confirm that you're using that data in uh, in a secure uh, and a proper way. And as a consumer, I mean, that's quite a relief is that if I sign in through, you know, log in with Google and someone accesses my Gmail inbox, uh, Gmail, Google is being protective of that data. But effectively what that means is that if you're planning on using the Gmail API and you basically want to build something that is uh, an external application, not just for internal use in your business, uh, then you could be faced with uh, $15,000 or more fee in order to conduct a security audit. Um, I had a quick look through the bubble forum this morning and uh, it's a bit of a gray area because uh, how much of a security audit could an external security um, company conduct on your bubble app because you don't have access to the AWS elements, you know, you it's, it's a bit of a like a mystery box. Well, it's not a mystery box. You know what I mean. Going on with Bubble, how much can you actually comply with an auditor when auditing your app? And so th there's a bit of a discussion going on. And you know, every few months I get a message about this saying, "Did I come up with a solution?" And I think that the the one that I'd recommend is uh, that you go down the route of a service like Help Scout. Um, so Help Scout is a help desk um, SaaS application. Uh, they're very good, I've used them in the past. Uh, and uh, they let you send and receive email uh, through an inbox in their application. Now they don't use a, at least last time I checked, they don't use the Gmail API um, because uh, they use a service, I think again last time I checked, they used Postmark and Postmark is uh, a transactional and now uh, marketing email API uh, and it allows you to send and receive emails. So by using a API service like Postmark, you can build your own inbox in your bubble app uh, for your users. Um, and then the emails aren't actually going into a Gmail or Google Workspace um, inbox at all. They're all handled through your app and you can uh, you can set up domain verification so that the outbound emails, they, they're legit, they, they come under the authority and the identity of your users. You can do all of that through the API, inbound, outbound, uh, and uh, I mean, where is it here? Let me just, and you know, domains. Uh, you can do it all through the Postmark API. And last time I did a little bit of digging into this, this is exactly how services like Help Scout work. And in fact, in my experience looking through different CRMs, if they don't offer a Gmail integration, then it probably is a solution like this with Postmark that they're using in order to send and receive emails. Now, a few caveats on this. One is that if you are making your own inbox and it's not going through Gmail, then your users are not actually getting the messages, you know, they're not having the messages themselves. The messages are only going to be found on your bubble application. So you might want to consider uh, how easily or if at all you can export those messages so that if a user leaves your service, they're not uh, having to um, leave and, you know, um, no longer have access to any of the email inbound or outbound uh, that they created or received while they were using your app. So that's just something to consider. Uh, if you've got any thoughts on this topic, please do leave a comment down below. I mean, I'll just point out the um, what I was referring to. They, this is the page on Google about OAuth API verification, and it's been updated uh, more recently than when I last checked it. And I can't find the mention of this fifteen thousand dollar fee, but what I could find. Um, where is it? Um, is is that it's conducted by a, like an external auditor, and that there are costs involved, and maybe they're deliberately obscuring the costs even more now. So unless you've got deep pockets, I think you're going to struggle to use the Gmail API um, with uh, a bubble app. Uh, and so the alternative I'd recommend is to use. Um, is to use Postmark and basically set up your own inbound, outbound inbox email service. And so, yeah, if you're learning Bubble and you found this video useful, please like and subscribe on this channel. Uh, and also, we, you can find hundreds of Bubble tutorial videos just like this one um, on our website, planetnocode.com.